Halt! Who goes there? Welcome to the island of Astero. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy TJ Burns and today we've got another island tour of a medieval castle-like island by the names of Asterope done by Vitality Orion, so big thanks to you. If you guys want to check out this amazing, amazing island as well, the dream address will be on the screen right now. So Asterope is described as a medieval island a castle and a magic forest so I'm very interested to see what this island has to offer so we'll start off at the airport as always and at the end I will show the custom designs that Vitality Orion has used but very excited to see what this Viking town has in store for us but let's get straight into it and of course if you guys are new here why not check out the rest of my videos on the channel I mainly do Animal Crossing don't forget to slap a like on the video if you do enjoy as well and subscribe for more so we'll start off at the airport shall we upon leaving the airport we can see the map is absolutely incredible in the bottom right hand corner and we are greeted by this massive castle entrance i love it already the tiki torches it's got a moat all the way around it very exciting so i guess well there's only one way really to go we could walk to the right but i'm not going to i'm going to cross this bridge and go straight into the castle but first let's quickly check out what villagers are actually on the island of astro so, Asterope, this is Vitality Orion right there, has Coco, Ellie, Lopez, Molly, Wolfgang, Doby, Nox, Pico, oh I love my Pico, Drago, and Ruby. Not a bad set of villagers there, very good, and the knight kind of goes, Nox the knight chicken goes well on this island. But, as we walk through these amazing gates, where do we even start? So I actually, I'm using the dream address, so... This is where the town hall is again, surrounded by cool like silos looking like pillars, surrounded by this high wall as well, makes it look very castle-like. I guess this is where the king or the king viking, maybe Ragnar, <laughs> would stay here with his family. But up here we have an incline, which leads onto the big wall where you can have an outlook, maybe some archers or something, if this town was to ever be invaded. But I think it's very, very cool. Ooh, a present. So obviously Vitaly was kind enough to give us some outfits so i'm wearing the viking costume thank you very much appreciate it and i guess we'll head over to the right side first of the island and double back oh look at all these boots and outfits <laughs> just a little boot stool here i kind of like that very cool so again this is described as a um a viking island with a magic forest i'm not too sure where the magic forest is but look at this Already I'm loving this walkway right here with the candles as well. A very nice long walkway. <laughs> very aesthetically pleasing. And all the way at the back here we discovered it looks like a woodcutter's or a bread maker's house. Very cool. I'm liking the Lilies of the Valleys. Obviously this is a five star island without a doubt. But a very cool little uh, little section here. Damn these villages have such a cool section. It looks like literally like their houses are built into the wall because it is. Got an own well and everything. This is very cool. I like this a lot. I really do. So we'll continue to the right where we just left off across this bridge here. Like I said, there's a moat all the way around this beautiful Viking house, hut, castle. <laughs> and it is very cool. Again, we've got some villagers with some little like flower patch and stuff to grow their trees and crops. It's very cool here. Oh, I'm really liking the custom designs they have for each of the villagers' houses too. Looks like it's on a raised porch, but obviously it's not. <laughs> you can't get that in this game. But it looks amazing. Even got a dog on a chain. Absolutely amazing. Christmas pine cone. Love that. Damn, I didn't realise there was so much stuff on the beach. So obviously I didn't go to the left. There's even a fishing spot. I love that. That is very cool. But obviously I didn't go to the right, I mean, when I first came out of the airport. So I didn't explore all the beaches. There's like a unicorn on that custom design there. Very mystical. But look at all this. Jesus, so much. How do I get... Okay, cool. Here, I can follow this way around. Very cool. I think the fences go really well. The barrels and everything. Make it do feel like a kind of medieval Viking era looking island. It's very cool. Very creative. Oh my god, that's a towel. I was like, what is this race thing right here? <laughs> what is this bumpiness? Very cool indeed. You can even come over here and have a spot of ring toss. What a vibe. <laughs> Approaching up here, you can sit on the shores. Damn, this island has it all. 
places to relax as well. Loads of shell stuff going on there. Very cool indeed. Want to sit down, paint the art, paint the shore? You can do that right here. That's a very beautiful painting and a very beautiful shoreline as well. Ah, beautiful. So we'll check out the rest of people's houses. I know this is Pico's house for sure because I love Pico. She is dreamy. Can I actually jump over these? I can indeed. Very cool. I'm liking the aesthetics. I like this is kind of like, you know, the more villager, what you'd expect from a Viking kind of era. If any of you guys have watched Vikings, it's a very good TV show. Amazon Prime, not a plug, not a sponsor, but I still enjoy it. I haven't watched the latest season, but I'm definitely getting the feels here of these fences and kind of rural life, you know, some rotting turnips. Very cool indeed. Oh, now this bit here is very cool. I like this. Kind of an asymmetric pond area here. Looks very natural, very beautiful indeed. Even got a couple ducks here. <laughs> very nicely done. Looks wonderful. And this leads on up to the campsite. What rural Viking will be living there? I've just come across this little design here, this custom design. It's just a spider or something lifting up a tree branch. I don't know, but I really like it. I find it quite cute. <laughs> that made me chuckle. So now we can continue up to the left past the campsite. We have a incline up here. Damn, Stonehenge. This looks cool indeed. I mean, literally, look at this aesthetic. Just walking through here, marching through as my Viking, keeping patrol, making sure there's no one wild here. There's a wild Pico who's oh, so dreamy, but making sure no one's coming in, invading our island. Stonehenge in the background, very cool aesthetic here. We even have that haunted statue. I've got to do it. It's got to float. <laughs> Oh, it kind of creeps me out, but I do like it. Very cool indeed. We continue over to the left. I love in this kind of overgrown and custom designs on the floor. This feel does make it look very Viking y, very kind of overgrown and natural. And here we come across our first house. What could be in store? Let's find out. There's even a flipping horse in the right with the swords as well. Damn, very cool. Oh, now what a house this is. Cobwebs on the back. Thank you for John for giving me a fireplace. <laughs> Been wanting one of those for ages after just touring the last island as well. But oh, what a room. This is very cool. I mean, it's quite a, I guess a rich Viking would live in here to earn all this stuff. Geez, definitely the, the king of the tribe. Oh, the back room's got a lovely like marsh forest here. Oh, I love these so much, man. I love the marsh lamps. This is cool, in like literally like a back garden inside their house. That is very cool, I love that. The right room seems to be the bedroom with a trap door or something underneath, maybe an escape route. Say so if you are getting invaded, you're gonna need to get out of here quick. You've also got a vampire squid, cool pet to have. <laughs> like that a lot. But yeah, this is a very pretty room, a very nice bedroom. Definitely, definitely a posh Viking here would live here. I'm pretty sure most of this stuff would not be attainable, but it's just a house. <laughs> wow, now this is a room over to the left. Jesus, we got a pterodactyl here chilling. Very cool. Love to play a game of chess in here. Loving the wallpaper. Very, very cool indeed. Spooky. But again, this is a posh Viking. Jesus. If you see Vikings, they would not live in a place like this. But what a room, I love this room, very nice, very aesthetically pleasing, loving all the shades of brown. <laughs> Even the teddy bear makes it complete, ah, oh, beautiful, and that artwork, very nice, attention to detail people, I love that. Oh, upstairs looking very cosy, not only a fireplace, but we've got this lovely kind of, um, I don't know what this is actually called, but I love it. <laughs> some sort of oven fireplace i don't know but it's cool even this sign is cute man welcome oh very nice i'm loving the overgrown different shades of green in this room lots of plants and stuff and this wallpaper is amazing i don't think i've actually seen this i need to get my hands on that what a beautiful room and of course you've got a harp here oh yes please yes as we pop downstairs, we encounter much more wildlife. Not only plants, but we've got models of the oar fish. We've got a flipping triceratops in the background. Absolutely amazing. Loads of fossils. The tarantula, my claim to money, my claim to fame. Thank you, Mr. Tarantula right there. Loads of cool stuff here. This Viking's intelligent. Even got a, what are these called again? God damn it. Periscope? No, not periscope. Oh, God damn. I've forgotten the word. Microscope. There we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Even a microscope there in the corner. Very cool. 
So that was the first house we've come across on Asterop. And now it's time to continue over to the left and check out what we can see. So they got their secret beach here, some treasure on it. These Vikings have plundered well. Nice there. Oh, I'd love a big chest of treasure right now. <laughs> Make some millions. Oh, this is cool. What an entrance to the museum as well. Wow. This is fabulous, you know, just the organ massively in the way. Looks very, very cool. Loving that. Yes, loving that big time. It just looks so aesthetically pleasing. I love doing this camera angle and just seeing what it would look like. Look at that. Beautiful, right? So we didn't actually check this down a bit here. So let's continue to do so. This is going back to the middle castle bit where the moat was. Oh, an upper incline up here. Wow. Outside library. Very cool. Oh god, wasps. No, my arch nemesis wasps are not for me. This is cool. Like a hidden away fountain bit within the forest. This is very cute. Oh, I love this a lot. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Damn. Oh, very beautiful. Love that. So we'll continue to the left down this incline, see what we can find. I can see Able Sisters and Nook's Cranny. Oh, <laughs> just a dragon in the pathway. Look at this. Loads of greenery going on here. It's like a little stall, a little house. Well, a little market rather, not a house. A little market. Okay. Drago or Drago is just in the way. Nook's Cranny to the left. Loving this. Loving the custom designs on the floor and the different paths as well. I believe we have Able Sisters just up here too. Oh, with the outside looms and stuff. Now that's more of a Viking feel, the frugal dress, love that. OMG, I just realized there's knights up here. I did not see them. If you see up here, we've got loads of knights overlooking, well, I guess Vikings, technically, but armored Vikings <laughs> uh, up there, overlooking us as we walk through the market, ensuring everyone is safe. And let's check out the left-hand side. So, we go into the left exit, across the moat, across the bridge. OMG, we've got target practice throwing axe throwing target practice may I add absolutely amazing I don't see any bows and arrows it's all axes oh I love that that is very cool very creative indeed right so now we have to head down to the bottom I spy another house upcoming can't wait to see what this is about we hop over here oh I'm loving this field just a walk around the moat anything on the beach oh some candles lilies of the valleys five star island of course oh hello we got a pirate captain here as well that's, that's a cool outfit, I must say. Hello, hello. All right, but let's head up this incline and check out this house, shall we? Oh, this is beautiful, you know. I actually love it. Very nice indeed. Oh, that's a cool entrance as well. So obviously this house isn't as big, but let's see what is in store for us, shall we? Welcome, welcome. Sadly, this house seems to be a work in progress, so not much to offer. But nevertheless, they've still got an amazing flooring here but it's definitely a work in progress. Let's check out the back room just in case. Yep, sadly, that is still a work in progress. Sadness indeed. <laughs> but let's continue with the tour of Asterop. So I actually didn't check out this left area here next to the museum, which is the last area to see. So following this cool little thin path, <laughs> loads of gnomes already, Jesus Christ. Oh, let's not talk about gnomes. Oh, this is cool. There's a witch in the forest, it must be, or something, or some fairies. Look at that. Cauldron boiling up there. Skulls, skeletons, potions, butterflies. I even see a termite mound. Very interesting indeed. This is definitely the witch's house. Whose house actually is this? Oh, Tarantula. Coco is the witch in this Viking kingdom. That Tarantula made me joke. Oh, mate, I love these. These are hilarious. Look at it. That little spider just holding onto that. I love that. Oh, very cool moon as well here. I must say, this island is very beautiful indeed. Just what a vibe. It's actually beautiful. I love it. And this little spider down here makes me laugh too much. Holding a skinny mushroom. <laughs> but let's see what else. I think there's one small little area left that we have to investigate. So coming around the left, again, loving the custom designs on the floor. All the little details. You see that spider up there holding the acorn in the top left. It's all these little details which literally add to it. Oh, look at them all. <laughs> Do you know what they remind me of? They remind me of the soot things from Spirited Away. <laughs> I don't know if that's what they're supposed to be, but if so, I love them. I really do. Oh, I'm loving this mushroom forest right here. Again, these sort of islands are such a vibe. I love walking through here with these camera angles because it looks so darn good. Hell yeah, love that. So much going on. Little mushrooms, flat mushrooms. Oh, it's great. 
So I don't have a ladder, so sadly I can't get down to the beach, but I do see something up there in a cage of some kind. Well, first of all, gong. <laughs> OMG, is that a pirate or a skeleton in a cage? It's kind of creepy. Very creepy indeed, but I've got some dinosaurs on the beach as well. <laughs> nice one. Alright, so hopping back to the last area, we can see loads of nice custom designs on the left side on the beach. But, 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 what do we have down here? We have a small little bridge. Oh, can you get to the house from this way? I did not even realize. I don't actually think you can. I think, oh, you can. I did not realize that. That's very cool. A nice little way, a nice hidden track to get by back there. But I must say, Asterope has been a great island. You can actually even hop all the way back on these little steppy stones <laughs> across the moat, which is a nice touch. Seeing all this gold. Alright, I think I need to hop back here though. Let's go back to the middle. But this has been Asterope, so I'm going to show you the cotton signs, but one island it has been very nice indeed. If you guys do happen to visit, make sure if you are visiting from ACNC Tour, leave a review and tell Vitaly Orion what you think of the island. But let's quickly show you the custom designs they have, shall we? Now Vitaly has quite a few custom designs. The create a code it, back down there in the bottom left if you want to check it out. The flag for Asterope is right there. Very cool custom designs. Oh, I wish the spiders were here, but I'm guessing they're someone else's. Also, oh, oh some robes. That's very cute. So if you want to check out Vitaly's custom designs, please do. But guys, that has been the tour of Asterope. I'm going to hit bed now and go back to my island. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of this beautiful island. Please do check it out yourself as well. And if you enjoyed this video, of course, slap a like on it. And don't forget to subscribe. But I'll see you in the next one or in a live stream or two. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.